Have you ever wondered why we spring forward and fall back every year, disrupting our schedules and sleep patterns? What if that could change? Welcome to the Time Change Conundrum, a global debate that has been ticking away for years. Daylight Saving Time, or DST, is a practice dating back to the early 20th century. It was initially introduced with the idea of saving energy by making better use of daylight during the long summer days. Sounds logical, right? But as we've evolved and our societies have become more complex, many are questioning the relevance and usefulness of this biannual time change. From the inconvenience it causes to its economic impact, health risks, and even its effect on agriculture and the environment, there's a growing list of reasons why many people believe it's time to stop this time change. So, let's delve into the top 10 reasons why many believe it's time to stop this biannual time change. Starting from the bottom of our list, at number 10, we find the inconvenience of adjusting clocks. It's a hassle we all know too well. Twice a year, we scramble to change every clock in our homes, cars, and offices. This seemingly small task can disrupt our routines, causing a ripple effect throughout our day. Think about it. The clock in your car, the one on your microwave, your alarm clock, even the time on your coffee maker. It's not just us individuals either. Businesses also have to adjust their schedules and systems, which can lead to confusion and inefficiency. Moreover, the first few days after the change are often marked by missed appointments, late arrivals, and general disorientation, as we struggle to adapt to the new time. While a minor inconvenience, this disruption is just the tip of the iceberg. At number 9, we have the economic impact of daylight savings. Now you might be wondering, how could changing the clocks possibly affect our economy? Well, let's delve into that. Firstly, there's the energy issue. While the idea behind daylight savings was to save energy, research actually shows that the energy saved from reduced lighting in the evening is offset by increased air conditioning and heating in the early morning and evening. Then, there's the aspect of productivity. Yes, that one hour of lost sleep does affect us. Studies indicate that there's a decrease in productivity the week following the spring shift. This cyber loafing, as it's known, results in economic losses in the millions. Lastly, consider the costs incurred in updating systems and the potential for errors during these changes. The financial industry, for instance, spends a significant amount each year on these adjustments. As we can see, daylight savings is not just a matter of time, but also money. Moving up the list, at number 8, we have health risks associated with daylight savings. The clock sleep forward doesn't just rob us of an hour of sleep. It messes with our body's internal clock, leading to sleep disruption. This sleep deprivation can lead to mood swings, memory issues, and even decreased performance in daily activities. Moreover, research shows a correlation between the start of daylight savings and an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes. When we lose an hour of sleep, it puts stress on our bodies, leading to an increase in blood pressure and inflammation, both of which are risk factors for heart attacks and strokes. The health risks extend beyond the physical. There are mental health concerns too. Studies have found an uptick in depressive episodes in the weeks following the time change. Clearly, the health impacts of daylight savings are not to be taken lightly. At number seven, we find the impact of daylight savings on agriculture. Contrary to popular belief, Farmers don't gain an extra hour of sunlight to tend to their crops. In fact, it disrupts their schedule and the natural rhythm of their livestock. Imagine you're a dairy farmer. Your cows, not caring much for human timekeeping, still need to be milked at dawn. With daylight savings, you're now waking up an hour earlier, while the rest of the world enjoys their extra hour of sleep. Moreover, crops can't simply adjust to the new time. They require a consistent amount of daylight to grow and mature. This sudden shift in daylight can negatively impact the productivity of the crops, leading to lower yields and potentially affecting our food supply. So, despite the supposed benefits of longer daylight hours, the agricultural sector often bears the brunt of this time change. It's clear that daylight savings doesn't always yield the best harvest. Halfway through our list at number six, we have the environmental cost of daylight savings. The original idea behind daylight savings was to save energy. The thought was, by shifting the clocks forward in the spring, we would have more daylight in the evenings and thus use less artificial light. However, this is a classic case of good intentions not necessarily leading to good outcomes. Modern research suggests that any energy savings from reduced lighting costs are offset and often surpassed by increased use of air conditioning and heating. When the days are longer, people tend to stay active for more hours. 
This means more time spent in climate-controlled environments, which leads to higher energy consumption. This increased energy usage doesn't just hit our wallets, it also has a significant impact on our environment. The majority of our energy still comes from burning fossil fuels, which release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. Moreover, the extra hour of daylight savings doesn't just affect our energy use. It also impacts our natural world. For instance, changes in daylight hours can disrupt the behaviors and biological rhythms of wildlife. This can lead to mismatches between animals and their food sources, potentially threatening entire ecosystems. And let's not forget about air pollution. The increased demand for energy during daylight savings often means more pollution from power plants. This not only contributes to global warming, but can also have harmful effects on our air quality and public health. So while the idea of saving energy by shifting our clocks might sound appealing, the reality is far more complex. The environmental cost of daylight savings is not only evident in our energy bills, but also in the air we breathe, the climate we live in, and the natural world we share with countless other species. As we can see, the environmental cost of daylight savings is too high a price to pay. Now let's delve into the top five reasons why daylight savings should be stopped. Starting off on our list is the disruption to public services. Daylight savings time does not just change our clocks, it also changes the rhythm of our daily lives. When the clocks spring forward, public services like transportation and healthcare are often thrown into disarray. Buses and trains operate on strict schedules and even a one-hour disruption can have a domino effect, causing delays and inconveniences for commuters. In the healthcare sector, hospitals and clinics must adjust their schedules and staffing, which can lead to increased stress for healthcare workers and potential risks for patients. Next, we have the negative impact on education. Studies show that children, particularly those in lower income areas, can be adversely affected by the time change. The lack of morning light means that many children are going to school in the dark, which can affect their safety and their ability to focus in class. In addition, the sudden change in sleep patterns can lead to decreased performance and increased tiredness among students. Thirdly, daylight savings time can lead to reduced leisure time. While the intention of daylight savings was to provide more daylight in the evening, for many people, this simply means more time spent at work or dealing with the demands of daily life. The additional hour of daylight is often lost to the pressures of modern life, leaving less time for relaxation and leisure activities. Second on our list is increased crime rates. It may seem surprising, but research has shown a correlation between daylight savings time and a spike in crime rates. This is particularly true for crimes like burglary and robbery, which tend to increase when the clocks go back in the autumn and it gets dark earlier. Finally, the lack of substantial energy savings. One of the original reasons for implementing daylight savings time was to save energy. However, studies have shown that any energy savings are negligible at best. In fact, in some cases, daylight savings time can actually increase energy usage, particularly in regions where air conditioning is heavily used. Each of these reasons presents a compelling case for why we should reconsider the practice of daylight savings time. It's not just about losing an hour of sleep or having to adjust our clocks twice a year. The impacts are far-reaching and can affect our daily lives in ways we may not even realize. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll delve into these top 5 reasons in more detail. To recap, we've discussed the top 10 reasons why daylight savings should be stopped. We delved into the inconvenience it causes, throwing off our internal clocks twice yearly. We examined the economic impact, showing how it actually costs businesses and consumers more, instead of saving money. We highlighted the health risks associated with the time change, from sleep deprivation to more serious cardiovascular concerns. We also touched on the negative effects on agriculture, disrupting the schedules of both farmers and their livestock. Then we dug deep into the environmental cost, debunking the myth that daylight savings helps reduce energy consumption. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Finally, we rounded up with the top five reasons, emphasizing the wide-ranging impacts of daylight savings. From public safety issues to the negative impact on education, it's clear that this practice has far-reaching consequences. The time has come to question whether the benefits of daylight savings truly outweigh these substantial costs.